Hey guys, it's Erin, and we are joined for now by our old friend, Oliver. I haven't been home a lot, so he's been kind of clingy with me. And he also seems to really like the camera and the light, <laughs> so say hi to the nice people. No? Okay. Are you mad? Are you mad at me? He's the best. Anyway. So he's just gonna hang with us. So, I have today a Marshalls haul video. Just a small trip to Marshalls. And, um, back after not making videos for quite a while and I mean it's it's for a good reason which is that I'm very busy very fortunate to be very busy but I do wish that I could do this more often so I hope that I can adjust my schedule a bit um, with a lot of the restrictions for crowds being adjusted I have been doing more events like speaking events which I used to do all the time, and I missed a lot. And um, so I actually am going to have a clothing haul, like a dress haul video, in about a week or two, because one of the events I'm speaking at in November, they decided to have this really relaxed and casual, um, like a dress code, so everything is tropical themed and I don't know if it's because where I'm going to be is cold or they just want it to be casual and fun but it literally says on the invitation that it's like we're supposed to wear tropical attire and that we can wear flip-flops if we want to and um so I ordered some dresses that I think hope will fit the bill and so I'll be I'll talk about that when they get here because they haven't gotten here yet but anyway so the first thing that I got at Marshall's was actually the reason why I went there to begin with and this could either be a disaster or it could be really good but the reason I went was to get foundation um, because I had one that I re like I mostly liked from Benefit and I completely ran out of it and I just wanted something to like tide me over before I did like a bigger makeup haul um, expensive makeup haul <laughs> um, so I went to Marshalls so I got this which is the creme shop i think it's it says cream but it's like got the accent on it so the creme shop match made luminous liquid foundation in number 11 and it says lightweight buildable foundation softens appearance of imperfection for a bright even toned complexion so, we'll see. It was $4.99, and so I don't have grandiose expectations, but that was the point. Like, I was really looking for something where if it wasn't perfect or exactly what I wanted, that it wouldn't be a big deal because it was $5. And before I start some of my bigger speaking engagements like I've been speaking more recently to like groups within my work board members and like cabinet members and stuff like that and teaching some social media classes to different departments but later in the fall is when I'm actually going to conferences to speak and so that's when I'll take this a little bit more seriously and not buy $5 foundation. I will let you know 
how it goes because I haven't actually tried it yet. The next thing I got was um, this mascara. I did go a bit into the um, like red tag bargain bin section. Uh, I am just waiting on some clients. Like it feels like everybody, I'm like waiting for like a bunch of invoices. So I'm like all paranoid right now. So I really went to this section of Marshalls, which honestly is my favorite because it's like a treasure hunt. So you go where the red tags are and like a large amount of this stuff is bad like broken and you can tell that people used it and like ugh. but you can also find stuff that's really really good but you have to have the time to look and inspect things and you know like find the, the diamond in the rough so this is voluptuous volume lashes by beauty concepts volumizing mascara and it says that it's infused with argon oil, uh, volume, and length long lasting. So I haven't opened this one either. It was $2, so can't really say no to that. Oh, we have this kind of like mauve color, <laughs> kind of just like a mauve bullet. It just looks like a typical mascara I've used before, so I'm sure I will get some use out of it. And if I like it, then even better. Next, I got this also bargain bin. Um, Mark Daniels Professional Silky Smooth Coconut Instant Repair for Dry Damaged Hair with my favorite color, teal, and it was $4, so it's pretty good. And it says that it has nourishing coconut oil in it, and it is a nourishing treatment. So it says, um, soothes and adds moisture instantly to dry hair, transforming it into a soft, sulky feel, and you're supposed to smooth a generous amount of it through damp hair, leave it in for two to five minutes, or the longer the better, and then gently rinse in warm water. So, um, my hair is okay, like it's always been like pretty nice, but lately it I have been having some issues with it being dry and feeling just not as healthy as it is before and some issues with like my scalp and stuff like that. So another thing that like, in addition to the foundation that I was looking for was some kind of hair treatment. So it says that it's Australian made and owned and no parabens, vegan friendly. So I haven't tried this one either, but it was completely sealed, which Oh, I can smell it though. I can smell the coconut and it's nice. So I'm excited to try this because I really haven't done any treatments to my hair in a while. And so I definitely needed something. Oh, Oliver's interested. What is it? Do you like the coconut? Do you like coconut? It's not for cats, honey. He thinks that. Next, I got this. It is called Top Knot Hair Towel. Super soft, absorbent, and lightweight. And it's basically just the, you know, towel that you wrap around your head when you get out of the shower to help absorb and dry it quicker. Because I do have thick hair, my hair takes forever to dry. 
people that I know that like I, I tell them and they don't believe me <laughs> like I can wash my hair and dry it a little bit go to sleep with it wet and wake up with it still wet and that's like eight hours so I typically will use something like this to um, make sure that like it, it dries naturally but it does I don't sleep with it wet all night it says that it um, allows hair to quick dry naturally without frizz and frizz has also been something that's been an issue for me recently it was $3.99 and it is very soft I have one that I had gotten from Marshalls previously but it wasn't this soft it was more of like a like a terry cloth or something and um, it was nice but it, it was time for a new one so actually very much looking forward to this and then I did my one of my other favorite things which is finding very cheap eyeshadow palettes this is probably one of the best and biggest ones that I've gotten. My favorite one will always be the Canada one <laughs> because I was just so amazed that I found that. Um, but anyway, this was three dollars. You could tell that it was marked down many times. Um, Oliver is also very interested in this. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> um, and this is also by Beauty Concepts, which is the same thing that the mascara was from. So I guess all their stuff is old news and two, three dollars. <laughs> uh, and this is a matte and metallic eyeshadow palette called All That Glitters. And the thing that I like about this and the thing that I look for in the super bargain bin eyeshadow and makeup section is the box is kind of beat up you can see like where the G is there's like scuff marks on it there's stuff on the back like it's not the nicest packaging but the inside is totally fine and I don't even see any brush marks on it not even like a test brush mark that's what it looks like So unfortunately they don't have names because it is always fun when they have names but it is uh, a palette that overall I would probably use almost all of them because they're all neutral with like a little bit of shimmer metallic kind of vibe and um, it doesn't have a mirror which is also fine with me I don't really care about that but to spend three dollars on something where I'm probably going to use almost all of them, if not all of them, is a pretty legit find for me. I don't care that the box is beat up. The last thing that I got is something I'm super excited about, and that is this. And it is Pearlescence Works Like Magic All-in-One Cream. And I've made a whole video about pearlescence um, because it has become my favorite uh, skincare line, I guess you would call it. And really, um, the first company that I've repurchased things, and I actually go and look for their stuff. And I've bought some of the stuff on Amazon too, but they almost always have it in Marshalls, so I don't know where it originates. Because Marshalls usually, I guess, gets leftover things or overstock of other places. And I've never really seen it anywhere else. But who cares? Because they always have it. And I don't have this one. I have a ton of their other ones, as you have possibly seen in my other videos. These creams, they have eye serums, they have night serums, they have um, clay masks. I seem to have a little bit of everything and it just seems to really work with my skin. However, don't take
of this as if it works or not because I actually haven't been keeping up with it unfortunately which is another reason why I got this one because it says all in one because I'm hoping that it, I could just use this and not the whole routine that I was doing before because I just haven't been able to keep up with it I haven't been able to keep up with anything so um this is $5.99 which in this particular haul is like a million dollars but um it will be worth it because all their stuff has been worth it so far and it says to meet your every need this facial cream is infused with hyaluronic acid vitamin c niacinamide retinol squalene or squalene squalene and ceramides to brighten, hydrate, plump, and smooth for a rejuvenated looking skin. And it says that it works like magic. So, and you can use it morning or night. And that is one thing um, that I really like about, especially their um, moisturizing sprays, which I have mostly kept up with because it's just easy to spray your face. I just, I use them anytime and it makes a difference right away. So, it has like a little cover on it and then the inside is a white, like whipped type cream, I guess you would call it. So, So that is the September 2021 Marshalls Hall Extravaganza and I can't promise exactly when I'll be back next but it does feel really nice to make a video again and um, between this channel and my other YouTube that I've also had to mostly take a break from, um, I am hoping to pick a day or two soon and film quite a few videos like get ready for them and like you know do my hair and makeup and stuff like that and do a bunch of them so that I have them done so that when everything gets crazy I still have videos that I can upload whether or not that's gonna happen I don't know <laughs> but um yeah I do miss making them and it's really nice to be back with all of you again so no matter what I hope to see you soon and I am always uh, available to chat in the comments and you know say hello so don't be shy and I will see you guys soon bye